All right, Coach, we're going to unmute you. Give us one second here. Here we go. Can you hear us okay? I can hear you. Awesome. All right. We are ready to get started, and we'll go first to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Coach Toby. It, it seems like Harrison Butker was finally 100% healthy. I know there had been some questions about that heading into the week. Did you get the sense that there was just an additional confidence based upon his health in this last game? Yeah, I mean, he he, he had a real good warm-up. You know, he looked good. I, I don't know if he's ever going to be 100% uh, you know, this year, you know, really, I don't, you know, and I told him to stop talking about it really, but he's, he was out there and he, he had a great warm up and he looked good, uh, you know, and he, and he performed and it was good to see and, and he was happy and, and everybody was happy. Go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey coach, we've, we've talked about all the new faces and the rookies that you've got on your, on your teams this year. Are you where you thought you'd be at this point as far as the young guys coming along and picking everything up and being on the same page? Or You know, you don't necessarily see it on the field. I mean, I see it on tape. I see different things that are happening, the blocking, um, you know, the, the small details that aren't showing up and maybe on big returns and stuff like that that, that, that the fans don't see. And, and I think we're, we're, we're progressing well. Uh, we do have a lot of young guys and, and, you know, we're improving. We're improving each day and each game and each practice. And, uh, we just got to keep plugging away here. We got a lot of season left. Um, you know, you know, obviously the playoffs. We want to be peaking out then, and that's what we're striving for. Each each time we go, we're, we're getting a little bit better each time. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Dave. Um, now that uh, you know McCall's going to be out for a little while, and and uh, maybe Tony doesn't play this week. Uh, you've been using Sky. Any thought uh, about McDuffie? I know we asked you about when uh, when he first came back about him uh, returning punts, and you said you wanted to kind of get him up to speed. Maybe he's up to speed now. Anyway, any thought about uh, using McDuffie back there? Yeah, there's a lot of thought. Uh, he's he's a lot closer now than he would be, obviously. Uh, the uh, you know last week with with Tony being banged up, so uh, you know we'll get him back in there practice and and get him ready to go. He, he's He's not far off. I mean, I think, uh, you know, Sky is a guy that's uh, probably the next, obviously he was the next guy in. So he's, he'll be up and ready to roll uh, this week. But, you know, we have other guys too. And, you know, J uh, Justin Watson, I mean, he's another guy that can do it. Uh, you know, so, you know, we, we feel comfortable with some of the guys we got, but McDuffie's definitely one of them that, you know, we got to get him up to speed and ready to go. But he's also a corner. He's also a corner on punt return. He's, he's now starting in there for us because I took Snead off of that. You know, Steve was doing a great job for us. Now, now McDuffie's in there. He's a starting corner, at the left corner on punt return. So, you know, you take him out of it and use him at punt return, then you got to find somebody at corner. So, uh, right now, uh, he'll, he'll be that guy, but he'll also be a backup punt returner. Let's go next to Mick Schaefer. Go ahead, Mick. Hey, Dave. Uh, Pacheco catching that kickoff and kind of going out of bounds there. I know he can't know exactly where he is at all times. He's, he's looking up at the ball. What do you want him to do there? I guess he could let it bounce. He could get to the sideline and catch it while he's out of bounds. Was, was, was that a tough play, or what yeah, there was, was you three prefer things, him to do there? There was three things that he could have did, and one of them was bad, what he did. So, I mean, he, he knows it. He knew it right away. Uh, I want him to go after every ball, you know, and, and he's doing that. He was, he, was, he was going after 100 miles an hour. Uh, he just kind of lost track exactly where he was in the field. When he realized, he tried to toe tap, you know, and, and get it down. But that's really not what you want to do in that situation. He's got to sprint over there, but realize where he's at. He could have put it one foot out of bounds and kept one foot in the field, touched the ball, we would have got the ball out of the 40. Uh, or uh, just let the ball go out of bounds because I think it was heading that way. So, you know, those are the two uh, good choices that he could have made. He, he made the wrong choice, but he knows it. He's going to learn from it. And, uh, he was embarrassed by it, and, and, and everybody was upset. But still, I, I tell you what, he's going to learn from it. You know, these young players are going to learn from these mistakes and, and don't make the same mistake twice. And, and uh, you know, he's done a lot of good things for us already, and that was that was just one negative play. All right, Coach, I think that's all we've got for you. Thanks for joining us. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Take care. You too. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys, I think we got